Hey friends, Pastor Bill Walden here with Build Up the Church. God bless you. This is a devotional word for March the 21st, 2024. And this, out of, this is out of the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3. This is a description of John the Baptist. Isaiah the prophet spoke of John the Baptist 750 years before he came on the scene. And he's uh, basically telling us ahead of time what John the Baptist was going to be saying. And so these words are from John the Baptist. And it's a description of John the Baptist. It says that John was the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. And so John was telling people, hey, the Savior's coming, so get ready. And then he used metaphorical language, make his paths straight, every valley shall be filled, every mountain and hill brought low, and the crooked places shall be made straight and the rough ways smooth. And so it speaks of that ancient custom of road repair, highway repair, fixing Main Street. When a king would come to town, our days we might say when a presidential candidate or when somebody important, some dignitary comes to town, uh, the city does everything it can to, uh, to make the place beautiful. And in those days, prepare the road. If there's some high bumps in the road, flatten them out. If there's some low spots, fill them in. If there's some crooked places, straighten them out. If there's some rough areas, make them smooth. And it's metaphorical language to the listeners, basically saying, the Savior's coming, Jesus is coming, prepare your hearts. You don't want to miss him. Prepare your hearts to receive the good news about God. And then Isaiah ended with this. He said, and after all that's done, all flesh shall see the salvation of God. If you prepare your hearts, you'll see the salvation of God. Salvation, in the, the word saved uh, in Christendom and in Western culture, certainly, has become such kind of a cliche word, kind of an abused word, a, an unappreciated word. Uh, people say, are you saved? Are you saved? And Jesus can save you and... Um, you know, it's really such a misunderstood word. I, I love that word. It's so deep and it's so profound and it's so wide and it's so high. And the word salvation comes from a, a root word uh, in the Greek language. And the, the New Testament was written first in Greek and the, and the word is spelled S-O-Z-O, -O, sozo. And it has a, a variety of meanings. And the first meaning is to save from judgment or to rescue from the penalty of one's own behavior. And so Jesus certainly came to do that. Listen, when a crime is committed, all of us expect justice. Uh, the Bible says clearly we've all committed crimes, wrongdoings against God and against people. And if you have any sense of justice at all, um, it's reasonable to think that if we can expect justice, certainly if there is a God, he can expect justice as well. So how do we avoid that just penalty? Christ took it for us. He was a substitute. Secondary meaning of that word salvation or sozo in the, in the Greek language. And I really love this. It's to rescue people and make them healthy. To make people whole. I know that in my days before I was walking with Christ, I wasn't healthy. I wasn't whole. I wasn't in a good place. Some of that was not by my own hand. A lot of it was. And I needed rescuing. I needed not only forgiveness, but I needed rescuing. I needed healing, emotional healing. I needed psychological healing. I needed healing from thinking that uh, falsehood was true and that truth was false. I needed to have my mind totally turned around. And that's God's heart for humanity to help us think straight, to help us see life clearly, to help us understand uh, the beauty of marriage, the beauty of family, the beauty of holy living. Instead of thinking of holiness as a restriction, to see it as something that's liberating and, and saves us from the penalty of foolish decisions. And so let me read that those verses again. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, John the Baptist, he's telling the people, listen, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight, Every valley will be filled, every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places, they need to be made straight, the rough ways made smooth. And in doing all of this, you'll be ready 
and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Dear, dear viewer, dear listener, that's what God wants. He wants to bring wholeness. He wants to bring forgiveness, but not only that, he wants to bring you into the healthiest place, uh, the richest, abundant life you could ever imagine living. Jesus came to give us that. So please consider these words. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.